Good morning, beautiful people. It is Saturday, March 19th, I think is today. And I am headed, headed, wow, headed. It's a little early for me on a Saturday. I am headed to my workout class. So, um, I'm assuming by now I've posted the first video of me crying through this class. Um, well, not through this class. I cried substantially after this class. Um, and it hit me really hard and, you know, I had a life, a whole life moment um, over this class. But, I'm headed back mainly because I'm officially at 200 pounds and... I've been saying like, you know, I'm approaching 200, I'm blah, 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 blah. Um, really since the fall, I've kind of been teetering um, because, you know, life from these last two years literally truly caught up with me. Um, and I've been a lot more stagnant. Like I used to walk a lot more um, being on college campus because I had to. So I was walking all over the place, even through grad school. So when COVID hit, like obviously my activity level went way down. And I think I really think that's the biggest culprit behind the weight gain because like sometimes I go a whole day without eating, which is not good either. And could I I hear can also contribute to weight gain. But um yeah, it's not always it is what I eat when I finally do eat. I know that and then um just not moving my body as much. Even with an Apple Watch, sometimes I feel like I still just, you know, I'll ignore the watch, I won't wear it, you know, and I'm really trying to get my life back, okay? I'm trying to get my body back. I am only 28 years old, a fresh 28 as of two weeks ago, and I just really don't, I don't want to feel all the things that I feel, body aches and just tiredness and all of the things, so this is one step in me you know really pulling it together um and getting my body back and myself back um my mental and my spiritual i think are all connected to this so i'm really excited to head back to this class i found out about the class um because the teacher um goes to my church we actually sing the worship team together and the teacher the coach <laughs> the coach of the class um and the class is y'all again probably the hardest exercise class i'm sorry also that the lighting sucks as i'm driving but the class is literally the hardest exercise class i've ever taken but it's hard in a way that like makes me look forward to being able to do more um so yeah i think it's a really good fit and i'm really excited i think it's the camera setting that i have that has been going crazy um but anywho it is a um kind of gloomy day in columbus it is raining i don't know if you can tell but it's raining um not super bad but it's definitely raining the skies are gray but i am committed to doing this it's at 10 o'clock on saturdays and it's currently 9 54 and i am six minutes away <laughs> so i will be there very soon if this is your first time on my channel welcome i had a lot of encouragement on my last video that I posted um, if you haven't seen it it'll give context for what I'm saying right now so go watch it but I just was really open with you guys about me and YouTube and how much I want to be here and be in this space and create but get in my head and doubt myself and feel like my life right now is a rough patch you know it's me trying to get out of a rough patch and um, it's very transitional and so I don't know how to capture it and so what I told myself is instead of trying to figure out how to capture it I'm just gonna capture it and whatever it looks like whatever it sounds like um, it's just gonna be what it is and those who are um, supposed to walk out this journey with me and see me through it onto you know when the breakthrough comes great they'll be here and for those who say you know I enjoyed you up until this point but this is not for me we'll move on and my perfectionist self is going to be okay with that and just keep creating for those who choose to stay and not worry about numbers and all of that because that's not really what matters that's not why I have my YouTube channel I have it to um, live out my life my truth and um, show you guys what God does through my life in all seasons not just the wind so that's what we're doing today so I don't know if I'll be able to record I am gonna bring my camera in to see like 
if it makes sense for me to kind of record some uh, parts just so you guys can see how intense it is um, but if not I will definitely give you guys the scoop afterwards I'm watching Bel Air for the first time. First episode. I'm very excited about it. But I had to pause and tell you guys about my saga. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this. But a couple days ago, um, I was trying to make spaghetti, which is the most basic meal ever. But the spaghetti noodles that I used, so first time, no. The first round, I accidentally chucked way too much salt in the water. And I should have just poured it out and started over. But I was like, oh, it wasn't that much, was it? Oh, it was. Those noodles, y'all, tasted like disaster, like poison, literally. It was so much salt in those noodles. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I threw the pot out, because it was just, it was not edible, it was not. Then, I was like, okay, I had enough spaghetti noodles to make another batch. So I was like, okay, I'll just make another batch. You know what, we'll try again. I'm trying to be physically responsible and eat my groceries, so let's do this. Y'all, do you know that I had mixed, which it's still like that, I had mixed angel hair pasta and spaghetti in the same container? I will show you. I even have written on the outside angel hair pasta, even though literally this is a mixture of angel hair and spaghetti noodles. So in my head, I'm like, oh, you know, just treat it all like spaghetti noodles. But no, you know, angel hair pasta is super thin. That's why it's called angel hair. And it cooked really fast, and then the spaghetti noodles still weren't done, and they were all mixed in. Literally, you could not even separate them. It was terrible. It was so bad. 
So, um, ended up that I had overcooked and undercooked noodles in the same pot. Didn't work. It was really bad. My boyfriend ate some, but I felt very ashamed about those noodles because they're not, they weren't really edible. So I ended up saving the meat sauce that I made. Um, it was like spaghetti sauce. I had ground turkey in there, um, sauteed onions and peppers, garlic. So I saved the meat sauce because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go get some more noodles and I'm gonna eat this sauce so it doesn't go bad. So today when I went grocery shopping just now, I got actually rotini. No particular reason except that they had um, their spaghetti, like the regular spaghetti noodles were all sold out. Like literally it looked like somebody came and just purchased all of them. They only had angel hair and I was like, you know what? I'm not messing with angel hair. So I got rotini and it's so good. I just cooked it. I cooked the whole box and the texture is perfect. The flavor's on point. I put a little bit of salt in the water and then I put some butter um, over them after I drained them. Yeah, I could eat these just like this, but the whole point is to get rid of meat sauce, so. I'm pretty behind on my water right now. Well, I'm not pretty behind. I was doing good because I had to drink to stay alive in that exercise class. Oh my gosh, speaking of, I didn't tell you guys about the class. Gosh. So the class was amazing. Amazing. This was a collab class, so that's actually a little bit different than what the class I went to with just AP is like. You kind of got to see the first half of what his class is like at the end. Um, and then usually after that portion, which as you can tell was already so much, um, after that portion we usually go into like, oh my gosh, we'd be pushing the, the weighted thing like across the floor, we have the rope things, we use like the weighted balls, we do the jumping up on the blocks. Um, like all this heavy level, whew, for somebody like me is heavy um, level stuff. So I will try to record maybe next time too when I go to class. Mainly as accountability for me for like, look at me, I'm actually doing this. But also so you guys can see like the workout is crazy. If you're in the Columbus area, I will put the information for the class. It's Saturdays at 10 a.m. Um, for an hour and then Mondays at 6.30 p.m. for an hour. So super awesome. The class was fun. The girl who did the hip hop um, stuff in the beginning was dope. My legs was burning. The hip hop moves definitely had me burning. But I felt so good. Like even in my exhaustedness, I felt good. And even different from the first time I went to his class. The first time I went, I really was like super lightheaded, nauseous. Um, like it got really scary um, <laughs> for a couple points of just like, wow, you know, I'm really, this is, this is tough that my body is really responding like this to me working out. You know, I just thought I could do more. Um, but last time I didn't eat before I went, so that was already like probably why I was so like nauseous and about to pass out. Um, and so I didn't eat and I did have my water with me, but I don't think, I don't know if I had my big water. I can't remember. Regardless, that last time that I went was tough. Whereas this time I ate a cereal bar beforehand and a clementine, the little oranges, and I brought another clementine. I think you guys saw me peeling them. I brought that other one for the end of class so I could have something to eat as soon as I walked out of class and I had my water full and ready to go. And it made all the difference. Like literally so excited about this journey. I might end up doing like individual workouts with him too, um, just to, I don't know, just to get myself like in this routine, in this habit. Um, but I bought some healthy stuff from the store and not healthy stuff that I won't eat. Um, it's actually healthy stuff that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eat. So we're gonna ride this wave, you guys. I'm really trying. I'm really excited about um, just this class and moving my body and closing my rings. Like I can't remember the last time I closed all three rings. It's been a minute. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling very good, but I'm gonna sit here and watch like I said, Bel Air, and probably try to do some editing before I head to church.
Okay, funny story. I fell asleep on the couch <laughs> watching Bel Air, not because Bel Air was boring. Bel Air was actually really, really good. I was surprised. I think I was definitely on the mm, when it was first announced that I thought it was going to be like a spinoff or something or a remake of Fresh Prince. And I'm like, you can't remake Genius. And I wish we would stop trying. But no, it was really good. But like, a wave of sleep came over me from the level of energy that I exerted <laughs> today in that workout class and doing all the things. And I passed out. Then I woke up like, oh, I need to get ready for church. So I randomly went and pulled myself together. Um, today is, I usually wouldn't, <laughs> I haven't worn this actually in years. So this is my AKA jersey. Um, from when my line turned five back in, what was that, 2018? Um, and it's Jersey weekend for the kids at church. And I was like, I don't have a jersey. I'm not buying a jersey because I don't wear jerseys. But then I found this in the back corner of my closet. I'm like something told me I had a jersey and here we are. Um, so, hey, it's a jersey. It is jersey material. So we're going to look. Otherwise, I just have on some baggy jeans and my vans i kept the hat on because i did not have time to finesse my hair and i'm not i don't care it's saturday service so yes i'm going to be with the babes i'm in the elementary classroom tonight guys look what i forgot i had oh my gosh even though it's got stuff on it oh it's got lots of stuff on it i should probably wipe that off Oh my gosh, this was hanging in my front closet and I completely forgot that I had this windbreaker from Firestone, which I can actually rep my high school, which is a little bit closer to an actual sports team. <laughs> I felt so awkward about repping the AKA. I'm like, then I'm gonna have to explain to people like what is preeminent? Why does the word preeminent reside on the front of my jersey? And why does the back say we got five on it? <laughs> <laughs> the poor babies were gonna be so confused. I mean, this is not necessarily a jersey, whereas the other one was, but you know, it's definitely sports related. I love this. Yes. A look in the baggy jeans and the vans. Ooh. Yes, this is cute. This is a great move, but I'm still running against time, so I need to hurry up and stop talking to y'all. Okay. I ain't got no hairline, nothing. <laughs> Happy Sunday, you guys. Completely forgot to vlog today, so. Picking up the camera at 8.40 p.m. His mom just left, she came in town, and she taught us how to play dominoes, you guys. Was that the biggest factor here? Wow. Well, I... <laughs> She taught us how to play dominoes. I had no idea how to play dominoes. Did you? You know already. You knew already. Yep. They spanked me real bad. Yeah, but I was yeah. catching on. Yes, I did. I only had one house. It's fine. Did I close? I didn't even finish the house, did I? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Mm, no, no, I didn't. Okay, so. It was tough. You're still smart though. My hair is looking cute today, y'all. Don't don't patronize me. Um, so what happened today? We had a great time at church. Yeah, church was amazing today. First of all, do we not go to the best church ever? One church. One dot church. Columbus, Ohio. I'm telling Check you, it out. Gahanna, we go Ohio. to the best church ever. Mm -hmm. And that's seriously. that on that. Like seriously, the best church ever. The word was amazing, worship was amazing. Greg for Shane, what's the last name? Huey. Huey and Eddie Parker. Yes. Big three. Our big three pastors killed it. They started a new series today called Dialogue. And it was so good. I actually will leave the link in the description because I talk about my church all the time. So I just feel like you all need to see what we talk about. It's just such an on-time relevant word. Where are you going? Such an on-time relevant word every Sunday for our generation. Like, I just don't... It's amazing, and the community we have there is pretty incredible. Let, though, let me add this too. <laughs> Might I add? I think we have the best dressed church as well. I don't, we, hey, I don't care. We look don't good. they be we swagging good. every we Sunday? We look good. All three services look I good. I mean, the, the old, pe old people in the first service. Okay. The the, the middle aged people in the middle service. And that last <laughs> service, you know, funky fly. Fresh hey, eleven thirty B. 
But yeah, sorry, the lighting is so, why is it doing that to us? But yeah, so church was lit and I worked in the kids ministry today. Um, actually last night too. It was 42 kids y'all last night with three adults. Yikes. It was crazy. And then this morning I did check-in and then uh, we went to the 1130 service and then what happened after church? Um, we came here, Ohio State lost. Oh yeah. But it's cool. March Madness. And then, uh, my mom came. And yeah. we got food. I didn't take That's a nap or anything. Yeah. So when his mom came, we went and got randomly fusion. <laughs> we got fusion. Sushi and fried chicken. And <laughs> hot chicken takeover. They're literally right next to each other. And his mom wanted hot chicken takeover from the beginning, but someone wasn't really down for the cause. So then we went to Fusion and we all were like, yeah, this is not going to be enough. So Let me clear this up. So everybody uh -uh. else can be on my side as well. <laughs> if you go somewhere and spend about $40 and you get all breading, right? All breading. This would you go back there story. again to spend $40 again? Okay, but what happened today is what? We got the best batch of chicken. It was good. And it slammed. It was good. But I think and you will get why I had... My reservations. reservations. Maybe if he was paying, but his Look mother was same covering word. the bill. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm really excited. There's actually a lot of fun stuff coming up. I won't get into it all right now, but there's gonna be some cool stuff coming up in the next. You see online. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to finesse these people. It'll be fun. Oh, we got married last week. No. <laughs> Y'all, y'all can have him. Take him. <laughs> I'm throwing him away. You're not funny. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. Um, I'm still in very much pain <laughs> from yesterday and that exercise class. It all hit me. I meant to tell y'all last night, but my legs are in shambles. But it's okay, I'm gonna keep exercising. You know what, I noticed in the mirror too. I don't know if the last video I was in, or the, the one video I was in. I'm on a mustache. What? I got must. I got. I guess legit. It's getting thick. You can go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's all I had to share with you guys to catch you up. Any other news? I was gonna say you mm -hmm. haven't been on here in a minute. What news do you have to share with them? I'm a plumber. If you need yes. plumbing work, <laughs> don't hit me up because I signed a non compete. <laughs> Anywho, he is a plumber. He out here killing it. Doing, doing the good. Thing. We're doing good. He cut it out. <laughs> I'm going to put this reaction in so everyone can know that you're talking hot smack over here. Uh, but yeah, that's all you guys. Um, I'm really going to try this vlogging thing. Hopefully... Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully. You know, hopefully we gonna. I'll speak confident for her. It's gonna go real well, and I hope everybody else can tell her that she does a good job. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. So yeah, I will see watch you all. It, I'll watch it. <laughs> Thank you. My welcome. one view. You'll get, you'll get one. Actually, you get four. I'll put VPNs on and switch my IP address. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> what kind of hacker stuff? Watch How does he know Use different that? devices. Yep. Well, there you have it, guys. I have a hacker for a boyfriend. Hacker and plumber. Shoot. Okay. See you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Do the thing. <laughs> <laughs>